second episode or part two of the Vietnam vlog. So we left off with leaving quarantine and living in Ho Chi Minh City. Once we got out of the intense three week quarantine, we had to get one more COVID test that was outside during our seven day self isolation. <laughs> There, we were able to practice with the team and have freedom in the hotel. Unfortunately, after a couple days of practice and a few days into our full freedom in the city, the city actually went into lockdown and that was in the middle of May and they are still in lockdown and it's honestly not looking any better since then. So hopefully that cleans up soon and they can get back to living normal life. So this episode shows a little bit of living in Ho Chi Minh City while we are in this kind of in-between area of where do we play, when do we play, and all those details. So life in Ho Chi Minh City was a little scattered at the hotel. We, we made our best of it. Team dinners really helped morale. <laughs> <laughs> at night, sometimes we'd play poker. <laughs> time and the best time I had there was the hour spent by the pool. You know the rooftop pool it's gorgeous. The Vietnam sun is so hot so middle of the day and not a lot of people are out there so it's nice to kind of get some space away from the team and just kind of finally get some alone time and kind of take a step back from all the training we were doing and everything like that. The only freedom we really had outside the hotel was to really go to the, the shop to get like snacks or food or drinks or anything like that and also to go get coffee. So in the mornings, I would take my coffee walks, try to make them as long as possible, walk different routes or whatever. And that was what I did to try to keep my sanity while we tried to figure this out. So that's kind of where we start off with these videos and we will go from there. It's an absolute beautiful morning here in Ho Chi Minh City, or better known as Saigon um, out west. Um, yeah, it's a great morning. Um, it's Monday morning. The streets are hustling and bustling. It seems like the COVID situation is getting a little bit better. So as that's happening, we're seeing uh, more and more traffic, which is tricky with crossing the street. And I'll show you guys that later. Um, but yeah, I'm, right now I'm going to go take a walk and get um, you know, my favorite cup of coffee that I always get in the morning. Uh, Vietnamese coffee is very, very good. Um, I didn't know it was really world famous until I got here. And it's funny because the more you travel around, everyone claims to have the best coffee in the world. Um, but I seriously like the coffee here because it's really strong. And uh, that's uh, right up my alley. So here, I'll take you guys for a little walk right around the corner. So now here we are, we're at my favorite place in the hotel. Of course, I'm sure it's everyone's favorite place, but uh, I like to get up here early in the mornings when uh, you know things are just getting happening. I can get in the gym and you know kind of have some like time to myself and like kind of get in the zone, um, but not without first stopping up here and always taking a look at this view. So 
actually wish I started doing uh, these little videos sooner. Um, today's Monday morning and supposedly we are leaving uh, Ho Chi Minh City on Wednesday to go to Nha Trang to, um, you know, be able to get the season started because that's the real reason we're here. And um, everyone's been really good with being patient, but I've had so much time here about a month at this hotel and I easily could have been filming and doing more videos about Ho Chi Minh City, but uh, better late than never and sorry it's on this old iPhone. Um, hopefully I get a camera or something soon. All right, anyone who knows me very well um, knows that there's no chance I'm getting a workout in without my coffee. So earlier we went and walked, got our coffee. I let it melt a little bit because, you know, it's so hot here in uh, Vietnam that, you know, they really overload it with ice and it's supposed to, you know, melt into it to make it less strong because <laughs> if you're drinking straight up, it is really strong. So here we are. All right, that wraps up my uh, workout. It is so hot in this room, um, which is good. You get a good sweat. You, you know, kill the AC, let the Vietnamese sun beat down on the room, really heat it up, get a good sweat in. Um, now I have like a five, 10 minute break and then go outside for our um, little shooting workout. The team was kind enough to get like a, kind of like a mobile like driveway basket to put on the side of the hotel. So we can, we've been able to shoot these last couple weeks before we can get back into a gym. Um, yeah, so we'll head out there next. Alright, here we go. The shooting rim is broken today, so we're gonna get a game of horse in. Um, we kind of bet the food wagers if Jordan wins, he's got some kind of meal, and then we got me and Brian win, we're getting fraps. How you feeling about the matchup, old man? We're good. Fine. Oh yes. Oh, oh yes, me either, baby. Jordan, what you got? I've been awesome. That's kind of my Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an R. Yeah, you want an R now or after it's you tough. shoot? What you want? Oh! Yes. <laughs> Jordan's trying to put it away. I'm in control, man. <laughs> oh, Whoa! That's game. That's game. Damn it. What you want to eat? <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> Lastly, in this episode, I get to show you what my favorite part of being in Ho Chi Minh City was, and that is the young friend that we met. His name is Kai. I want to say he was about nine years old or so. He speaks great English. He loved basketball, so every day we were out there training twice a day. He was hanging out along his fence. He lived right next to where we would shoot and he'd wanna have all kinds of conversations, mainly about where I've been in the world and asking all kinds of questions about culture, geography, everything. So that brings us to our next little adventure in Ho Chi Minh City and my little relationship with Kai and how fun that was to get to know him. Okay, so good morning. Today we have a little bit of a different morning. Um, um, so we have off today because we're heading to the city of Mitran on Friday. So, you know, today's Wednesday. They're just giving us a day to kind of regroup, pack our stuff up. And, um, you know, we've been going every day for a couple weeks now. So it's a pretty good day. So took the morning to go for a little bit longer walk because I need to find a bookstore. Um, we have a little kid who hangs out with us when we shoot in the mornings and the afternoons and he's just been begging me to get him a book about geography in the world. Um, his name's Kai, he's a really cute kid, um, really smart and uh, he's just one of those kids who's like super curious about everything so um, hopefully I can find him a book today because he's getting a little impatient. <laughs> I'll let you guys know how it goes. Alright, I uh, was able to find some, you know, like, 
younger English learning books, um, workbooks and stuff like that in that last bookstore. Um, I really looked around for a while. I couldn't find anything that Kai is exactly looking for. Um, I already ordered two books online that I know exactly, that's exactly what he wants, but I accidentally shipped them to Philadelphia. So I'm gonna have to get his address and send it to him. Um, but yeah, I mean, we got three or four like little workbooks here. Um, some about world culture, American culture, um, you know, kind of just around the things, that, around the questions that he's asked me before. Um, so hopefully he likes it. I know he wants maps. Uh, but this is the best I could do. Um, so I'll have to get his address and send him the books that I already got him. They're now in America. So uh, we'll uh, walk back to the hotel and get him these books and see how he likes them. Books. Um, uh, I don't need him. <laughs> but are you kidding me? You don't like him. Where'd you, where'd you go? Come back here. <laughs> I'm holding lots of books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one's about like world culture. Yeah, and this one too. Here, one last one. Then I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you some quiz ones with a uh, map. Yeah, they're just taking a while in the mail, right? Yeah, there you go. Take that one. That's a lot. It's a lot of books, right? And there's two more. All right, that's it for this episode. Sorry, it's probably a little longer than I wanted it to be. Um, and it's a little more scattered than the way I'm filming things now and the travel days and everything like that. So next time we'll wrap up our time in Ho Chi Minh City and our travels to Natron. Thanks, see you next time.